lost control. Even the father. The father. The father. So there's other ones. Always the father. So there's other ones. Father, so all, all, father, some only one, yeah. So father he, always there. The father. That's what I mean. So yes. your father is my great uh, uh, Allah. Allah. And the one who Allah died. Allah is your father. What you mean? Your father. Your father. Your father. My, my Allah. Father? My Allah. Allah is the father. The great power. In the what you call it, I don't know. Yeah, my, that's why I don't know. You don't my, know. That's what you say. You know. I will say you don't know what you're going to cheat. No, no. I know what I'm going to cheat. You said that. So you I, say that. I, I you say you don't my, know. I define my God. Yes. You define your no, God. No, Jesus defined my God. No, you. you. I define my God. I'm not following Jesus. Yeah. Ah, I Jesus define my God. I worship yeah, yeah, yeah. the greatest, the greatest power you know, kiss in the, black the heaven. Stuff, do you? I worship, not you. I worship. So if I worship the tree, it is not your business. I worship the I want you to worship Jesus. It's up to you. No. Please give you eternal life. No, I don't want weak God. I want a strong God. Very strong. I don't want all enemies. I want someone very. I don't. I want someone great, powerful. He can forgive you, sin, give you eternal life. I don't want. You don't want If someone kill my son, I want my God to put him in the hell. I don't want. But Allah would, you would you agree that Allah rewards women whose children die in jihad? I, I saw in Palestine, Palestine oh, many sure. women are like, I'm happy my children oh, die, sure. so I'm guaranteed Listen, heaven. Do you believe Allah will forgive people that who kill my children? If you it believe depends. that, this it God depends. will not, will not happy... respect and be worship. I will not worship him. My God will take my rights back. He will punish people who punish me. If yeah. I am just like this, and because I am good guy, everyone punish me, and they will be forgiven. And I am good guy, nobody take my rights. I will not. But you know what? Let person. me tell you one thing, madam. No, not me. You, madam, you. let me tell you one difference. The big difference. You Muslim, right? The biggest difference. You know what it is between Christianity and Islam is that we have a relationship with God. We and have, we don't. You don't have a you relationship. We don't. We don't want to have. I just worship you know, him. You don't. You know, we we the Holy Spirit of God lives in us. You know, and we are connected to God. You know, you you just do ritual stuff, you know, praying, fasting, and you try your best to be a good Muslim. But you don't know God, and God doesn't know you. Uh, of your God. But you're parroting in words in Arabic. On the ground. Very powerful. Yeah. But is it is a ritual? You, 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 you really have a ritual. You Jesus. No, I shall forgive me. You Jesus will forgive me. If you will turn to me even because I am a good bo a guy well, and I thought this is really right. And I'm sorry I didn't believe him, but I think my God is better. Well, no, do you, do you believe? No, listen, madam. Do you believe? Because you mentioned good person. Do you believe you're a good person? I am. Okay, so Jesus said that I, he came for those who are sinners. Okay, he's like a doctor. He didn't come for those who think they're good people. He came for those who are sinners who need a savior. Yeah, we are all sinners. She thinks she thinks I, think I am good. Person. But I say to you, Madam, I say to you that not just you, me. I'm not good enough, and I will go even further. I, and I say I'm an evil person. And so are you. I don't know you. So is he yeah, yeah, and everybody else. Yeah, what you want to say? So you need a savior. You need to be born again. You need to be born again. This, do you know what the biggest message Jesus said is that you must be born again. Have you heard of this before? No. So it means that you are spiritually dead. Right, because of your ancestors, you know, we're all spiritually dead because of Adam and Eve. We have a fallen nature, we hate people, we hate God, we hate life. Even if we pretend that we're good, inside we are dead. Yeah, and Jesus Christ, He can give us eternal life and He can forgive your sins. But when He forgives your sins, He gives you the Holy Spirit, He comes and lives in you. And when the Holy Spirit lives in you, you have a relationship with God. Can I speak? Of yeah. But I will speak as I want. Of course. Listen to me, please. Try to listen to me. If I tell you you have to follow some organization or university or anywhere, a group of people. Yeah. This one guided by someone who loves everyone. Anyone punish, anyone, anyone kill, anyone because the Holy Spirit he loves you, he pray with you, he kiss you, he hug you, they kill your child, they cut your head, they, 
One second. The, this is the first group. The other group, there's a strong guide. He said, if someone, someone hurts you, we will hurt him for you. As safe, if he stab you, we stab him. If he cut your hand, I will cut his hand. If he kill your child, I will put him in the hell. I mean, he will take your right for you and worship me. I will not kill you. Just to pray five times a day, the connection in your spirit. This if is, you uh, tell me, if you tell me in yeah. this in this world you will choose that group, it is cut. The, the speech is cut here because you will never. Choose. The thing is, mother, you will tell me you will choose this. No, group. I no. The, 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 this I, I tell you why these two examples don't work. Let me explain. No, to you. no, you didn't get my no, my I do question. understand. I do my understand. Question. I do, but don't connect it with God. I mean, two group of people. Yeah. Forget about God. Forget about Jesus. Yeah. Two group. Of, if you didn't answer. Me, I yeah. will go. Two group of people, which one you will choose? Neither of them, because you're not getting it, mother. Neither, you're not getting it. You're not getting you them. No, because they don't work. These examples. The thing is, you know, Jesus. The thing is, mother. No, but the, but no, but the truth is not imagination. The truth is reality. The reality, madam. I don't go to reality. You. I told you, you have only this. Like I put you in game and tell you choose the flower or the dog. No, because you're I choosing. You only Can I flowers. respond? I heard you. Can but I you respond? didn't answer. Because give me a chance to respond. You're giving me two examples. One that says you know to vindicate yourself if somebody wrongs you, eye for eye, tooth for tooth. And the other one is your extreme example says that you know that you can be forgiven by the Holy Spirit whatever you do. Is that right? And I say to you, neither of these examples work because when you receive the Holy Spirit, you become a new. You get it about the Holy Spirit. It's be, but do you understand what you, it means to become a new you, creation? I told That's you, what it means the to be a, or the dog. Why you connect to the God? Because you because God. you're giving two examples which don't work. It's like saying it's like saying to a woman. Let's say I say to you, either you wear a burqa. They, they lie on their no, it's like they either, lie on us. Madam, it is clear you have to choose this. No, it's like I give you the same example you're giving me. It's like I say to you, either you wear a burqa or you go out naked. This is the example that you're no, giving me. No, I give you examples. So true. You will be burqa or naked. So no, I say to you, you're not, you're not getting it. The point if I is ask that anyone you, other, they will choose this example. But it will not save you. Even if your God says to you, you can vindicate yourself. You, you don't God. get your sins forgiven. You are not so you, you need to be born again. Careful. Look at that. The point the point is that, madam, you must be born again, right? So a person who is truly born again, let's say, um, a, you know, the Bible says hatred is murder. If I hate you, I'm committing murder. So, so, if, so if I hate you, I murdered you. I don't want to talk about the Bible. If we start so simply from down, we can't get to the Bible. You jump to the Bible. It's just from down. If there is two judges, one judge, he will take your rights, and other judge, he will kiss you and kill the murderer. Yeah. Kiss the murderer. Yeah. Who will, who the, but the same judge, madam, even if he says to vindicate you, the same judge will send you to hell for what you've done wrong in your life. The judge will not send hell. Well, yeah, if you, send still, if you still, if you lie, if you say to me, oh, F this person, you should go to hell because you're a sinner, because you broke God's law. So even, so the thing is, why you jump yeah. to the God? I'm talking because you're talking about judge, the God of love. Your, your God is not forgiving. No, your God is not forgiving. It says, we remain. If you have sins today from the sky, yeah, you and you and uh, you are born again is when you are not a Muslim and you revert to being a Muslim. That is no, the true is, um, no, 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 no. It's not the true meaning. The thing, oh, you like dogs. I love Can you it. explain this better than me about being born again? Can I, maybe he can explain better. You jump to the God. I'm, I'm, I'm so can you, okay, can you give the same example to him? Same example? Oh. Yeah. Okay. If you have two judges, one judge, you go to him, he, someone kill your, your, your uh, child, let's say, or cuts your hand. And they tell you there is two judge. One judge, he will hug you and kiss you and kiss the murderer and uh, everyone live uh, happy. Or the other judge, he will take your rights. He will punish the, the murderer and somehow. Which judge you will choose? The one that punishes. Not punishing? Yes, the one that punishes. The one not punishing? The one not punishing is not if the judge. Someone, 
I mean, if someone kill your child. Yes, yes. I, 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 I'm saying I would go with the judge who's punishing the person who. Can answer her. her. I'm telling her your opinion. I am okay. with you. But I would say that the Muslim in the Muslim religion. For example, there's a hadith that says a man killed 99 people, he murdered 99 people, right? And then he went to seek forgiveness, right? And then he ended up killing one other person, my bad. He went up killing another person, right? right? And then Allah gave him forgiveness. He killed 100 people at this point, okay? How is that fair? It is wrong. But that's, that's what a hadith, that's what Muhammad's sayings are saying. So Muhammad is saying this happened. It is wrong. It's wrong. Yes. So then that would mean that the Quran is wrong, sister, and the hadith this are wrong. Is, this is not Quran. Tell me Quran. Hadith, I can say anything and tell you, oh, Muhammad said it. This okay. is wrong. Okay, okay, so you bring me Quran. Okay. You, you accept the, the, the Quran then? Yes. Okay. okay, so the Quran says in chapter 9, verse 29, fight the unbelievers. Until, fight the unbelievers until they feel themselves submitted and pay the jizya. Now, how is it right for a judge to claim that I should pay a tax for not believing in your religion? and be fought against for not believing your religion? I'll tell you why. If I am here, uh, uh, the, the leader of this country, and you're not, I, I am entitled to, to fight ag again for my, ch my people, my religion. But I have to fight for you if someone attack the, the country. But it says fight against the unbelievers. It says, it says fight against them. It doesn't say fight for them. You said the tax. Yeah, the tax comes after. If, until they speak, they feel subdued and then they have to pay a tax. Why, first, why should I have to pay Allah any money for believing what I believe? That's not fair. See my English, that's very good. I will explain simply. Yeah, yeah. Cool. If I am Muslim and I come to this city and I tell people, you want to come to Islam, they say no. I said no problem. I will take the city, keep your, keep your religion, but you have to pay tax because I will defend you if someone attacks no, us. Why, why should I be forced to pay money to you though? That's not because fair. I, I told you, because I defend you if someone attack you. But I didn't ask you to defend me. You don't have to. So you're forcing yourself to defend me to get money ah, from me. You, you How is that fair? You're telling me the British Empire in the uh, uh, old, old back, they ask people, please, can we take your city? And they accept and they give them their city. This was the life in that time. But I'm talking about right now because the Quran's for all ages. No, this is not right now. Right, well, if the Quran's not for all ages, why, why would anybody believe it now? You see, no. that's the issue. The Quran says that every Muslim should fight the unbelievers. That's what I, it says. I, I cannot uh, remember so good, but the same Quran said, like your neighbor, unless what he believes, and don't think about he believes. The Quran doesn't say love your neighbor. I don't know that I can't take it from the uh, Google, but I will not. Uh, what type? You can't. You can't search for it. Quran said you have to love other people. Quran doesn't say hate your neighbor. If it it does say hate. It says that. It says not to make friends from the Jews and Christians. That's Surah five, is, verse fifty-one. That's so good. Put it in your head and try to search for it because I am sure. Oh yeah, I can, I can show you tons of passages, for example. Are you an Arabic speaker? Don't show me what's, what's your idea. I'm not show showing my somebody. idea. I'm not showing my idea. Show me what I told you. This is a Quran. Quran said, love your neighbor. I can't show you what I told you. All I can do is show you the Quran. Once he gets it up, can I give you this as a gift? I read the Quran, so I invite you to read this. I is that fair? Okay. Sure. I always, okay. See, I'm studying now the comparison between three uh, religions. Religion. This is good. I think it's very good. That's to, very, and I'm so happy. Can you read out for me? I am so happy. Oh, I don't mind you holding my phone. Can you read out for me? What does it mean? I, I, I want you to show, right. so it says, I can show I you like this, I can show you like, says, 100. <laughs> what it says, oh you who believe, I take can not show the you Jews. Of this. Can I read it? I know it. Okay, well can I read it? In English so people can understand. I mean, I For the know purpose of people watching, you know, I just want people to know yeah. what it says. I mean, it says, oh you, you who believe, anyone, take not the Jews and the Christians for friends. They are friends one to another. He among you who take of them for friends is wrong of them. Yes. So, you're not supposed to take a Jew and a Christian as a friend. Yes, sure. And the Quran also says that Jews and Christians are the worst of creatures. Before it was this because they put us as an enemy. Doesn't say that. Doesn't say that. He will not I, I mean, I've got a Quran here. Do you want to show us a bit? He will not accept anything in this ayah. Cannot you show me three words and tell I me he doesn't say? No, I said surah. He cannot surah. say. Surah. I've got the whole Quran here. He cannot say everything in this surah. It's short. I've got the Quran here. Okay? It's the whole Quran. 
read the Quran more than you. You could say that. I, I believe I know it more. Than you, but yeah. I, I, I mean, so far, I've shown you verses which said you cannot take friends from the Jewish Christian. And in Surah 98, verse 6, it says you cannot, eat, like, sorry, Jews and Christians are the worst of creatures. You That's try what it to says. tell in other people I, uh, you are stronger in your ideas. You talk. It's not my ideas, what the Quran says. Can I show you again? It is, it is. You are stronger. You took the speech from me and her between something so easy. You go too deep and deep and deep. The idea was so simple. Your God, it is trying to be loved God, love everyone, don't punish everyone, kiss everyone. I don't no, worship that's not, this that's like God. God. Who told you that was our God? She told me. He, okay, he's I, I God, I God, I God is love, but love also includes worship, justice. I don't. This is not going to be a conversation. So I, I don't God, worship God. God doesn't take you, my you, rights. You said, sister, you said that our God is just loving, kiss everybody. That's that's not our God. Okay. So ask I've got her. love includes ask justice. Ask her. Define. Maybe your God. she didn't. Maybe she didn't define it properly. Okay. I'm going to define it to you, right? And then you can look for yourself, right? Tell You've been given the Bible. Tell me, what's you can your look God? Okay, so our God, love includes justice, right? How? If, if, justice, if, how? How, how? So let's say you have a child, right? Your child runs into the middle of the road, right? Okay, you yell at their child, get the hell back here, right? No, no. They're going to think you're being hateful, but you're being loving to them because you're trying to stop them from being hit by a car, correct? Okay, so that's how our God is. If our God sees somebody in a wrong position and he forces them out of that, which he does in the Old and New Testament, then that is love. That includes, for example, punishing those who do wrong. The Bible says the unrighteous will not receive the kingdom of God. Murderers will not receive the kingdom of God. That's 1 Corinthians 6, right? So where will you put the murderers with your God? Where he will put the murderers? So again, that's speaking Your louder. God right. will put the murderers where? So murderers, if they continue to murder unrepentantly, and this is important, unrepentance means they don't apologize, they don't care about, they don't want to change, they don't want to be born again, right? If they decide they don't want to be born again, they will go straight to hell. They will go to hell. Yes. Let me ask another Christian about this point, because he will not agree with you. I asked 100 Christian. he said there is no hell, our God is full of love. They're not Christian. I can show you the Bible. I can show you where the Bible says it's hell. Let me I can show. I mean, for me, sister, it's not about what you and I believe. It's about what, what the Bible says. Yes. How? Well, but they, we will say that they send themselves They make a choice. Yeah. Who's going to hell in your? Uh, in, who's going to hell? Anybody who is accountable for their sin. So I believe that children, maybe somebody who is born severely disabled, you know, God will have mercy because they don't have capacity. Just like in the justice system, if a five-year-old commits a crime, sorry, obviously they can't go, to, you know, to prison because they're fine. But in the justice system, it's set up similar to God. It comes to nature where if you heard the gospel, you know, and you rejected. You she answer my question because my English. Yeah, is so, so uh, did you ask the question, right? Oh, who's going what would be? To the hell? Who's and going to hell? And she asked. Anybody who is accountable who rejects the gospel, yeah, like means you, me. If you reject so, it, you unfortunately. If you reject Christ, yes, you're part of understand. His love. Try to understand. Try to understand. Your God will send me to hell. I am very good person. I didn't it's do not, it. Nobody's good. The Bible says no one's good but one. That's Romans three. Listen, I, I just didn't convince. Have you ever lied? Sorry, sorry, my bad. Have you ever lied? Lord lied, he will not send me to hell. No, have you ever lied? I'm answering question. I am lying every have day. Have you ever stolen anything? I am stolen every day. Have you had sex outside of marriage? Let's say yes. Okay, so uh, I'm asking a random question, Steve. You're let's an atheist, say, you don't let's care. Say, let's say it. Okay, you're an atheist. Would you have sex with a man? Come on, bro. Let's say it, let's say it. Uh, so what he okay, will send me so to the hell? What I would say is that God has ten commandments, right? And those ten commandments are based upon his moral law. He is the lawmaker of all reality, correct? Okay, so he's the one that gets to decide it. Lying is a sin. It's not just a little bad thing, no. It's something that is an affront to God. Committing adultery when God created men for marriage is a sin. Okay, so stealing is a hell. sin. So these if you. Will go to hell. They will go to hell unless, and there's a big unless, unless instead of them taking on a punishment for these sins, somebody takes their place. Who do you think that could be? Your God, your son of God. Jesus. Your son of God, he will take the place for sinners. Yes. The message of the cross is foolishness for those who are perishing. Listen to the idea. Did he make sin any any time, the son of God? Did he what? Did he make sin, he's sinner? Did he mix, did you say? Sin, did, did he, he sin? sin? No, he never sinned, ever. He never, 
He never lied, he never committed adultery, he never stole. He followed the perfect law of God. I know. That's because it's perfect. Ask you Your Quran says that as well. Yeah. Listen to me. The silly idea where right. I am a sinner. I am a sinner. I deserve hell. You do deserve hell, yes. Let's say I am a sinner. I deserve I'm not saying let's say, that's what the Bible says. That's God's word. I am a sinner. I deserve hell. Right. And I'm looking for someone to take my seat in hell. And I take the most perfect guy to fill my seat in hell so I can escape. I am the sinner. He's not filling your seat in hell. This He's taken on the punchment of death very, you deserve. Very silly idea. Well, did I say that was my idea? It is silly. Did I say, no, no, hold on. Did I say that was what Christians believe? No, did I say never. that God is going to hell? Did no, I say that? You said no, you're misinterpreting what I'm saying. I said that God takes our place for the punishment. Now the punishment, for, according to Deuteronomy, the punishment of a soul that sins is death. The Bible says that any soul that sins is death, right? So God takes on the place, fulfills the flesh of the human body and takes on the flesh. The message of the cross is foolishness for those who are perishing. Try, try to understand me. Try to understand It's not a sin in Islam as well. Did you know that? According to the Hadith, you, the, the, a man, a Muslim man will come with mountains of sins, right? And according to the Hadith, the Jews and the Christians will replace the Muslims for their sins. So, I mean, yeah. The idea of the Do you reject Hadith, by the way? You don't reject Hadith? Some, some. Which ones? Well, hold on. Who you? The hadith, you, the hadith doesn't go with Quran. How do you know which ones go with Quran? Which ones go? I know Quran. I read Quran. Well, right, but the hadith for your sayings of Muhammad, right? If, if hadith doesn't go with Quran, I reject them right, from the myself. Quran, the Quran says in chapter 3, verse 7, that there's things in there only Allah knows. So who, who knows better Allah better than Muhammad? I can say you said uh, effort, but you didn't say. I'm not saying you. I'm saying Muhammad. But Muhammad's supposed I to be the best example. I can say Muhammad said, and Muhammad didn't say it. But how do you know he didn't? Something against the Quran. I will not accept this. So I'm right, but the Quran says there are things in it that only Allah knows, and I ask you. Who knows Allah better than Muhammad? I told you, but you try to not understand. For me, if one hadith yeah, against Quran, I will not follow. Where's the, the, the very critical thing? It's simple. If hadith doesn't follow the Quran, I don't follow. It's simple. Right, but the Quran says, and I've said to you before, that there are things in it that only Allah knows. It's up to, up to you. But if there's things in it only Allah knows, who cares about what you think? It's about what Allah knows and, and, and I Muhammad, right? I don't want right? you to care. I care. No, I'm saying, but it's about Muhammad obviously knows a bit more about the Quran than you do, correct? Why? Right? Why? Because he's the prophet that received revelation according why? to the Quran. Why know more than Quran? Because he's the prophet that received revelation from your God. That's why he would he know more about us, you. He gave us all his knowledge. Why he gave more, know more than Quran? What do you mean he gave you? No, he didn't. You said you reject Hadith. So where, where do you get Muhammad? Where do you get Muhammad giving you revelation? You insist, I reject hadith. It's up to you because you oh, talk so to you, yourself. Do you accept hadith then? You talk to yourself. Do you accept hadith? I accept hadith. Okay. Who so is there's not a hadith. The there's a hadith says that, that says that the Jews and Christians will pay for the sins of Muslims, right? No. So if you think it's foolish no, for a man to replace, um, a, a, or for God to replace us in his sins, then you should have a problem with the hadith. You should have a problem with the hadith, no, right? No, not all. Some, some of them nothing but with Quran. Well, every, you know, every single scholar of Islam called you a kafir. But you're talking about something. I, I come here to ask. Every I, single scholar of Islam would call you a kafir. What about? I they, come they would. Ask. You would be a kafir according to them. I am kafir. I am kafir. Are you okay with that? Yes, I am. But I'm that, that, so okay. Then you don't have historical Islam. Why are you Muslim? I, yeah. If you think I am a kafir, I am a kafir. No, it's not what I think. I'm saying Islamic scholars I would know. think you're a kafir. You reject the sunnah. I know myself. I know I'm not saying you don't, sister, but so, what, what I'm saying is this, is that Islam is not just the Quran. Yeah. It is a set of Muhammad's sayings yes. as well. Yes. If you reject those sayings, according to Sunnis, which are the majority Muslims, they would say you're a kafir. Not me. I don't care about that word, but they up would say them. you're a kafir. See, I tell you, up to them. I mean, <laughs> if, if some hadith against the Quran, I cannot accept. But who are you to make that claim? But how do you know you've got a right interpretation of the Quran? Are you smart? I'm telling you, if not... A That's a weird question to ask since I am, but yeah. If not, if it's against the Quran, how can I accept? How do you know what's against the Quran and what isn't? I understand Quran. I, I read it every day. I know Are you Quran. an Arabic speaker? Yes. Oh, nice, nice. So you understand it perfectly? Perfectly. Better than most scholars. 
This is not. This is between me and God. Why you put the scholar here? Because the Bible says there are men that do know, and in fact, the Bible says that like um, what Muhammad, sorry, the Quran says that what Muhammad says is also wahi revelation. Yes. You know that. So how do we know what Muhammad has said? Sorry. How do we know that? We have to go to the hadith. It, it is. It, it is with Quran. I will accept it. If something but, but, but against the Quran, Muhammad's only mentioned four times in the Quran. Four times. What is it? Okay. So how? If, if, if what Muhammad says is wahi, how do we know it's revelation from God without a hadith? If it is with Quran, I will accept it. If it is against the Quran, I will not accept it. Do you pray it. five times a day? Yes. Where's the Quran say you have to pray five times a day? Uh, he said not five. He said. Uh, he mentioned it three times actually. For this Shia, they pray th five prayer three times. He mentioned it three times in Quran. But, uh, right, but you do five prayers, which means you're going against what the Quran says. It's not against. It's explained Quan. Where's the Quran explain it? I've, I've read the whole Quran. Do you know what against mean? Against do something and don't do something. Yeah, don't in do contradiction it. of the Quran. Right? Yeah. So against, again, the Quran doesn't means, say you pray five times a day, therefore you're doing something that's against what the Quran says, because it's in contradiction, doesn't no, it say that? This is nothing he said, don't do it and do it. This is what not, I, I not accept. But if someone explains, I will be happy. I would on my head. I would be so happy. But if against, no, I will not accept. Okay, so how do you get your interpretation of the, the Quran? For example, I'm going to show you, have you got your, your Quran? Don't open the Quran, I know it, I know it. Oh, you know it, okay. So in chapter 111 of the Quran, I want to ask you a question. Who is Abu Lahab and why, why is he going to perish? But you, you're asking me this question, to reach where? I, you said you know the Quran. I have right? a question I want to ask. Let me have a time. No, no, I, it's just one, one question. I mean, you keep I, asking, I, you keep asking. I mean, just, you want sorry. to reach where? I will, re I will put it's you there. It's just one you question. You want to be a kafir? I never. It's just one question. It's not okay. me that wants to be a kafir. I didn't I mean, make up that word. I mean, you want to reach okay. where? So, uh, I mean, I'm just asking one question, okay? okay? The Quran says, Abu Lahab, in 111, Abu Lahab, may he perish in the flame, and his wife, the daughter of kindling, okay? Who are these people? Who is Abu Lahab? Why is he perishing? Go. You're telling me he is uncle of the Muhammad. He is uncle. How do you know that? They told me in hadith. Okay, I am not hadith. sure. So you do accept hadith? No. So the hadith Listen. states again that a Jew and a Christian will be placed on a mountain of sins of Muslims. You can't deny that. That's hadith. I, I don't understand. I, I am not. I don't understand. Okay. You want Very to reach? No? You want to reach? I don't understand. I don't understand. Oh, no, you know, fair enough, fair enough. You know, in my in my religion more than me. This is good for you. I, I'm not. I'm not here to boast about anything, sister. You want to reach where? I, I, I apologize if I feel if I'm if I'm being maybe boastful or something. But I want us to get to the point where we can reason intellectually. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. Okay. So when we when we discuss things, we got to be careful not to contradict each other. You said you only believe in hadith if it if it complements the Quran. Say you ask me. That's what you my said. My question, my question, something different at all. I have a different question. Okay, what was your question? Let me, let me get this question. I have a different question. Let me get this question. I start with something else, but try to understand me. Well, let me hear that question. Okay, let's go. Try to understand me. Okay, I will try to understand. Don't you. speak. Don't speak. Okay. Until I finish. Yeah, Why, if I and someone come from outside, I don't have any religion, any religion, and I explain my religion to him, and you explain your religion to him, I will tell him there's a great, a great being, a great power up there, anywhere, where I don't know, I'm not sure. But he's sending messengers to people to explain his, 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 uh, his deen, his uh, religion. And I tell the other one, you tell him about your your uh, religion. There is a God, he has son, but maybe he's not son, he's a God, I don't know. He sent his son to, to cover the sin of everyone, but he died, maybe he didn't die. He raised after three days. I mean, which one is more simple to understand? So you're saying we should believe in God because God's simple to understand? It is so simple. I but the, so, so why shouldn't we believe in the devil? The Satanists believe that the, that believe Satan. You believe in the devil? Yeah. Why? Like you believe that the devil is God? It is not God. I okay. believe there okay. is devil. So my, my question would be: I, I should have rephrased that, right? Christian. Okay. Christian. Christian. I was Christian here. Okay. Why? Why should we believe? 
conversation. Tell me. Okay, so why should we believe? So why shouldn't we believe in the Satanist God that is one? But you didn't answer and my, an angel of light. You start as, asking without answering my question. No, but the, the, the reason why Which I ask questions, it? sister, is it's, it's because it's a qualifying question. Do you know what I mean by qualifying question? So I'm trying to establish your point. I want to know what you're talking about. I want to understand what you mean. We okay? are human beings. We are so simple. If there's a great God, he wants to tell us there is a religion you have to follow, he will be so simple. Why he will be so complicated? Send his son, don't send son, die the son, kill the son, he's sinner, he's not. What well, well, so the Quran, you, you know what the Quran this says? Not, this is so complicated. The Quran says in chapter sending, 42, sending, verse 11, that Allah is Jesus unlike is his easier. creation. So how, how can I how to prove to me what Allah is? Okay. Easier. It's because you're shouting a lot. You're not listening a lot. So in, in, in chapter 42, verse 11, the Quran says that Allah is unlike his creation. Okay? You're just talking at the camera. You're not actually addressing the point. If Allah is unlike his creation, then how do you know that Allah can't do something? You contradict yourself. Thank you. It's a contradiction. I mean, if you want to. Madam, we thank you for your time. I read the Quran, I read the Hadith. I invite you, this is a, a small part of the Bible. My, my advice is put it in your bag because I know the man here, they will say, give it to me. They, so this, this is all. And then God, you know, if you, the Bible says, if you seek God, you will find him. Sure, I, I believe in this, in this point. If you, yeah. if you seek really from your heart, yeah. God, you will find him. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, if you're a prayer warrior watching this, um, please pray for this lady. She took the gospel and she had questions, but um, you know the Holy Spirit needs to work on her. Um,